I want to thank you again, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Um, we're very, very happy to hear what you're up to, and, and uh, we wish you the best. Thanks. Um, I, I have a few questions I want to ask you, which are very basic. And the first one is, I know you're from Georgia, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure where in Georgia you're from. Mm -hmm. A very small town in the northeast corner, um, very close to North Carolina. It's called Hiawassee. Sure. You know Hiawassee? Yes, I'm Get from Atlanta, actually. Oh, all right. Well, then <laughs> so, you know what a beautiful area I'm from. Yes. Mountains, Blue Ridge Mountains. Yes. My family, everyone's still there. I'm the only one that's ever moved away. Uh, I grew up there um, all of my life. Uh, two red lights in the town, very small, one of 60-ish in my graduating class. Um, my family, my dad's family, um, their, their staple was uh, raising cows, so a dairy farm. And my mom's family still runs a rainbow trout farm, so dairy and fish, cows wow. and fish. That was my I, I love rainbow trout, so maybe yeah. I can. <laughs> <laughs> your parents are still alive. Oh, yes, and, yes, yes. And, uh, They're both in real estate. They neither oh, went into really? their family's okay. businesses, so my parents run a very small, uh, I think the oldest real estate firm in Hiawassee. My dad is the construction side, and my mom runs the books and deals with the clients. So okay. it's a family business. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. What about brothers and sisters? Two sisters. Two sisters. So you're the baby sister I who am, went away yes. and made it big. Yeah. Well, I don't know where you're going to pick, but <laughs> I, I did my, lived at my dream. And the funny thing is, my dad was a little frustrated, if you will, with me when I went to college and became a journalist. What are you going to do with a journalist degree, I think he thought. And so I said, Daddy, if I don't have a job, but he wanted me to come home and take over the real estate business. Naturally so, right? So small town, go be back, good family business, but I, I love my family too much to work with them. I just, you know, was, I wanted to live my dream so, uh, so. I actually wound up getting a job on TV in Atlanta two weeks before I graduated from college because I was not going to go into real estate. Ah, <laughs> perfect. Yes, I was hired out of my first internship, uh, or my last internship, which was WTLK TV 14. So you look at my resume and you see, gee, Jen, you've worked in Atlanta and Houston and Tampa, Florida. Those are three top 13 markets. Most reporters start in Timbuktu, Montana and work their way up. Was like, I chose the smallest station in Atlanta, a city where I had access to CNN, the Weather Channel, um, Superstation, WTBS, Ted Turner's Baby, um, all of the affiliates, all of that. Eight different large networks I had access to for internships. And um, I did one intern at CNN, really learned a lot, but there was a lot more that I needed to learn. My second internship was through WTLK TV 14, tiny little independent TV station in May Red. Okay, All right, sure. next door to the Big Chicken. Yes, okay, right. All <laughs> I right. know where that Bring is. Bring it on home there. <laughs> so I did the internship, fell in love with the business, did everything from rewind tapes, learn how to shoot video, sweep floors, change light bulbs, build a set, build a show. I mean, we really were doing a great thing there, but at this tiny little station. And of course, my fellow classmates said, why do you want to go there and intern? You know, why it's such a dinky little station? Yes, but I'm learning so much. Meanwhile, they're filing papers and watching reporters do stories. I was physically doing things. And about two weeks before I graduated, our show that we had been producing, Getting Ready, um, came on, was coming on the air. And we had a male host. It was a country music video show. So I got called into um, our general manager's office, Mr. Hal Gore of Gore Broadcasting. I, I attribute so much to that man. And he sat me down in this big office, and I was quite intimidated. Yes, sir, how, what can I do? And I thought maybe there was a problem with the show. And, yeah, I think you've done a fine job, Jen. We really appreciate your hard work. And we've gone out and hired a male talent. And he, he knew a lot about country music, but I happen to know a lot about country music because living in Hiawassee. Sure. I grew up not just listening to, but meeting interviewing, getting to know Tammy and George and Waylon and, and Mickey Gilly was my first ever tour bus that I got to go on and you know meet him and sit and be you know have a soda. Hard I was heritage. So my boss said my the general manager said, We and he knew all that. So he knew my background mm -hmm. in country music. And he said, We need a female. I said, Yes sir, I'll go back to the talent agency and we'll find a female for the show. He said, Nope, I found her and I want you. Your whole life could change at that moment. And I didn't know if he meant, we want you to fill in. Well, I didn't know. And I said, Mr. Gore, what does that mean? And he said, I want you to co-host. In Atlanta, five nights a week, four hours prime time. Are you kidding? <gasps> I mean, my world changed after that. So, of course, I left all excited. And first thing you think is, what I'm going to wear tonight? And the second thought was, <laughs> call your mother. <laughs> I'm going to be on TV. Yes. So 
it was a dream come true, and it was a lot of hard work in my internship, but uh, I chose, I, I feel good about my decisions. You know, it's, sometimes people think it's the quality of decisions that you make. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to a bigger station or going to a bigger network, but it was the quantity of the education I got in my internship at this little TV station. But because I gave it a chance, and it wasn't the most popular choice, or it wasn't a popular choice at all, because they made fun of me for going there, it allowed me to grow. So it was a blessing in my life, that little TV station.